Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student Studies. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a couple of study sessions that I recorded a couple of weeks ago. I just hadn't got around to editing them. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for inspiration to go paperless with your studies. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. I've been trying to define this channel to try set it apart from my other YouTube channel and other study with me channels and I think I have finally figured this one out. My aim is to show you guys how I work on my iPad on a daily basis to accomplish what needs to be done as a medical student and so hopefully you'll be inspired to do your own study and you will have an idea of how I tackle different challenges that I get in my study uh, without needing to use paper. So to start with this video I will show you guys how I create my contents page for my final study notes for easier navigation. So all my study notes have a navigation system, they have a contents page and they also have links on each page that lead you back to the main contents page. While they are usually not massive documents, about 10 pages at a time per topic, I still find it useful to have hyperlinks to minimize navigation time when I'm revising. So during this study session I decided to to try doing this in document 6 instead of doing it in PDF Expert 6 which is the application that I usually do this in and I regretted doing this actually because I learned that PDF Expert is the PDF editor and even though document 6 has the same functions if you purchase the full PDF Expert because these applications are created by the same developer they linked these two applications document 6 is still not a PDF editor so no matter what functions it has it's just not designed to do that and it really sucks and it's a massive pain to use for doing this off the screen I have the other iPad Pro so if you see my hands disappearing from the screen that's effectively where they've gone yeah so I was using the iPad Pro 2015 to view my notes uh, that are in notability just going through those notes gave me an idea of what I need to add to my contents page I find that a contents page helps me get a rough idea of what to expect from my notes and how ideas in those notes are related to each other. Now on a different day, different study session, I was studying public health for this session. I decided to use one iPad because the subject doesn't have any textbooks and it just has individual notes per topic. So I don't need a lot of study resources for it. So on the left, I have on the left side, the small window, I have my study notes open in document six. This is a file managing application. It doesn't do any editing of notes whatsoever. And so because I wasn't going to be annotating these notes it made sense that I don't use much in note 3 to study for this topic because all I really needed was to just see the notes And I then had to do some calculations and I removed the calculator on my iPad. I prefer not to leave my screen when I'm studying anyway. So I went with the traditional calculator this time around. I'm one of those people that just prefers to keep my nose open 
all my windows open on my different devices when I'm studying. If I need to look something up, I'd rather do it on a different device than having to exit my current window to go research something quickly or go do something. I would rather use this calculator over using a calculator on my iPad, for example. So study sessions like this are when you would really appreciate the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It has enough space to allow you to split view, but still leave you with plenty of room to work with. I recommend the bigger iPad Pro for students. The final part of this video involves me writing my final study notes. I was writing my final study notes on myocardial infarction, which is a topic from internal medicine. Um, I am one person who just needs my notes organized. I do rough notes when I have to quickly go through a topic and I don't have enough time to sit down and write those notes properly. The first opportunity I get, I go back to organize those notes and put them in a presentable way that I can keep going back to for the rest of 
of my life basically that's the idea rough notes they work for me for a time but i need me my final study notes um so i was using rough notes that i created in OneNote, and i have those on my ipad pro 2015 and on my ipad pro 2018 i was using notability to create the final study notes And that is all I have for you guys for this week. I hope you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you guys think about paperless study. And let me know if you guys are interested in real time long study sessions with me. Um, yeah, if you're interested in my final study notes, I will put a link to them in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.